This video is meant for the educational purpose. Please ensure you understand the step before using any script. The goal is to help you to learn how to complete the lab effectively while following the quick lab turns and services and YouTube community guidelines. Back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. First of all, just me log in with your credentials and once you're done with that, in the description box of this video, I will share one GitHub link. Just me click on that link and then you are able to access this file over here. Now just me scroll down and from here you can see this link. So just me open this link in incognito window. This will activate your cloud shell. So just me wait for that. And it's finally done. Now just me come back over here and from here you can see this export zone command. So just me copy this command, come back over here, paste like this way. Now for the zone, just me come back to the lab instructions and here just me search for the zone over here. From here you can see this zone, so just me copy this, come back, paste, hit enter like this way. Okay, now again come back over here, scroll down and from here you can see this curl command. So just me copy this one. This will download this GitHub repo from my GitHub to your cloud shell. So just me copy this, come back over here, paste, hit enter like this way. Now we have to make this file executable. For that we have to just me copy this command over here, come back and run over here like this way. Okay, now we have to just me execute this file. For that just me copy this command, come back, paste, hit enter wait for a second and then just click on authorize now you have to just wait for this command get execute and once it's done then you are done with the 90 percent of the lab we have to perform one task manually so just wait for that and make sure that your laptop will not go for a slip otherwise your cloud shell will be disconnect and because of that you may face an error so just take care of that thing now just wait for a couple of minutes
and is finally done now here you can see these two URLs so just me click on both the URLs over here like this way just me click on the second URL over here okay now just me wait okay now on this one you don't have to do anything just me click on this edit button over here like this way scroll down and then just me click on the save button over here if you do not follow this step then you won't get a full score on the task number one so just me make sure of that thing okay now just me come back to this page over here if you face any kind of error over here like this way don't worry about that just me click over here and from here just me select your project id now just me wait okay so as you can see for me the data is immediately loaded but sometime what happened when i tried this lab previously i have to wait for at least more than five minutes to get a data which i'm going to show you now so what here do just me click on the subnet over here like this way just me wait and here you can see vpc flow if you are not able to find this vpc flow no need to worry just me wait for a couple of minutes and you will see okay just me wait and refresh your page okay now click over here like this way once you see this kind of filters then just me click on this action button and from here just me click on this create sync over here now for the sync name just me come back to the lab instructions and click on the task number four just me scroll down and from the point number five you can see sync name so just me copy this name over here come back and paste over here like this way click on this next from here just me choose bigquery data set and from here just me choose this data set over here now click on this next scroll down click on this next and then just me click on this create sync over here now just me wait and as you can see our sync is created now what you do come back to the github repo over here scroll down a little bit and from here you can see this last two commands so just me copy this one come back to your dashboard and just me run over here like this way now just me wait And as you can see, it's done. Now, if you just may come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for each and every task, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated for any particular task, no need to worry. And as you can see, for the last task, we are not getting a full score over here. So don't worry about that. You can just may wait for a couple of minutes or you can do one more thing. Just may come back over here. Again, just may copy this command. Again, just may run over here like this way again just me wait for this command get execute and once it's done after that if you just me come back over here and click on this check my progress you will get a score for sure so just me wait for this command get execute okay so it's done just me come back over here click on this check my progress let's see if we get a score here or not so as you can see we are still getting error but don't worry about that or you can just me come back over here again just me copy the same command and run over here like this way you have to just me repeat the shape until and unless you get a score over here don't worry about that sometime it might take time but you will get a score over here for sure so just me wait for this this command get execute So as you can see it's done just me come back over here and click on this check my progress let's see so we are getting this error again so just me rerun the command again Just me come back again, click on this check my progress. So we are again facing the issue. Just me come back, rerun the command again. So it's done. Again, just me come back and click on this check my progress. So as you can see, it's done. As I said, lab take time to update the score. You just have to repeat the command again and again the way I show you. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys. Remember, this video is for educational purpose. Please make sure you understand the step and follow the quick lab terms and services and YouTube community guidelines.